fight. What's up, y'all? Strong Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, this is it. Final trailer to the final movie, which we already know. This ain't going to be the final trailer, and this ain't going to be the final movie. Why is it not going to be a final trailer? When we're going to watch it on it's Friday. It's true. It literally is coming out in two days because, you know, they're going to do like 80,000 variations, cuts and clips for TV, for online, for YouTube, for Twitter. And so, yeah, there's always a thousand mm -hmm. variations of this. And I think... The problem right now with these kind of trailers is that every time they want to do a new cut, they want to show one more additional scene. So if you actually sit here and watch everything, you pretty when much you know the whole story. It's like story. every too much of it's given away. So I, here's the thing, right? They say this is the final trailer. I feel like we've already seen three trailers from Fast and Furious, right? And this seems like the typical cadence. First, there'll be a teaser, right? Then there'll be the first official trailer, there'll be a second trailer, and then the final. Four trailers already is a lot. And in fact, my fear of watching this, and I really debated actually whether or not we want to react to this. This came out like two days ago. Mm. We're still going to do it because, and I'll explain why. My fear is like they're going to show even more stuff here, and that's it. There are no more what I would call big surprises left. Right. I'm not talking about plot surprises for this movie because who gives a fuck about the plot for this? I'm talking about every action piece. Right. Mm -hmm. We've already seen them skewer Dom's car from helicopters. We already seen them smash two trailers together. We already see a gigantic pinball smashing right, the right. city. Like that's so, it. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's the whole movie. <laughs> you you got a fourth or fifth action set here that we don't know about? <laughs> oh no. Oh, they got the two women fighting, right? And then they get oh yeah, John Cena with the cannon cars. Dude, I'm telling you, they already gave away every action scene. In fact, I'm willing to bet at this point, there is no more new action sequences we don't know about. This is it. We've already seen them all. And if we haven't seen them all, it's in here. Wait, that, <laughs> it's on the final one. This is it, in the final one. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I hear But here's you. the thing, right? I hear this is the reason why I'm still, we're still going to react to this. Because at the end of the day, there's a freaking matter for this movie. For this movie, the plot... Who, who gives a shit? And in fact, maybe I'm, I'm going to even throw this out there for you because usually if you know what the reviews are like coming in early, it also clouds your judgment. It biases what you think, right? So mm -hmm. maybe it amplifies the hype too much. It won't live up to your hype or you're like, people don't love it. Like, oh, that'll skew your thought. I'm going to tell you what people think. Are the reviews? Actually, do you want to hear it? Yes. Yeah, of course you do. You can't help it. All right, the other reviews are in, baby. This is what people are saying that it kind of sucks. Really? Yeah. They're like, man, we've already seen half these action sequences and other things. It's just too much, too chaotic. But it, the more I was reading through the reviews, the more like, I was like, you know what? For Lulu and most people out there who watch this big dumb shit, they're not going to care. <laughs> uh, they they're just not care there about the actors and all the tricks that they're going to show into the movie, right? It's the, okay, let, let me make a phrase in another way. What you care about is the fact that you invested yourself into these characters for 10 movies, that you already know the backstory, so all you do is just enjoy hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. No matter what kind of storyline it is at this point, does it matter? It doesn't matter. In fact, you probably don't even remember half the plots. Let's see. Um, Dante, you know, was from <laughs> Fast and Furious 5, right? Uh, what was the plot for number five? No. <laughs> that's exactly it who knows this shit but i'm not like other fans though who definitely knows everything like my friend you know mm. he really he knows every plot line to fast and furious ryan does yeah mm, interesting oh let me know what you all think like i get marvel fans right like marvel fans because everything comes from a source right, the comic books, they will nitpick every plot point and remember every detail, every quote. But I feel like Fast and Furious is more of a, it's just throw everything from the kitchen sink out on, on a wall, see what sticks kind of shit, right? And who knows what happens in what movie and when and who said what. It, not consequential. No one's trying to figure out there's plot holes. It's more of shut your brain off and just go just sit there. Just enjoy. And, and, yeah, that's right, ride or die with the crew. Ride or die. But hey, maybe Brian really does love every single pop. Let's ask him. We should ask him. We know he loves cars. That's one yes. big thing. He he loves racing. Yeah, cars for him is a big Car thing. Cars is his baby, girlfriend, yeah. whatever you call. Cars are his uh, honey. 
Honey, honey, baby. honey. Okay, let's do this, y'all. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. I'm only going to predict you're going to rate this a 10 out of 10 in a way. I mean, it's a f- four and a half minute trailer. Let's start back at the beginning, shall we? Los Angeles, 2001. Humble roots, local kids, street racers who became hijackers. Who's that? Graduated to high speed smuggling. Mobile jailbreaks. Train robbers. If it could be done in a car, they did it. If it violates the laws of God and gravity. (laughs) I remember that scene. This is so crazy. But the days where one man behind the wheel of a car can make a difference are over. It's time to prepare for what's coming. You might want to buckle up. Woo! Who is that? I look out at this wonderful family. I am filled with so much pride. The great Dom Toretto. If you never would have gotten behind that wheel, I'd never be the man I am today. And now, I am the man who's going to break your family. Piece by piece. What's up? Uncle Jacob? Get out of this one. Dami, I knew you would come for me. I'm Dante. I'm Shante. So how about we all just start shooting each other? That's what I came here for. Time to end this. Let's dig some graves. Let's do it. Christmas list either. Calvary's here. Ah. It's showtime. Cute Tiny Tesh. Tiny Tesh? <laughs> no, no, no. We never agreed on that. Cheers. We need weapons and cars. Cannon cars. That was awesome! Do you like surprises? I adore them. How much time do we have? About four minutes. It'll have to do. Ah! Go fight! Do ya! Yeah! They're pretty much just showing the whole fight. What the fuck? The game's over, Dom. You lose. (laughs) You lost, right? Maybe this is the end. But you know what? (laughs) I smell (laughs) magic. They say when you're facing death, your life flashes before your eyes. Are they right? If this is the finish line, I'm not afraid. Boom! Fun of my movie tickets because I just saw the summary. whole movie. <laughs> that was that was excessive. I, you know what? I love it, but movie. man, y'all, come on! 
that. Why would you show the whole Evan fight scene? Everything. Okay. Okay, we're so, okay, we're so upset because we already bought the ticket. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, look, we're gonna enjoy it. I'm not. I'm not doubting it. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Yeah. This is big, dumb, I and fun. I just love is, it. <laughs> presses all the right buttons for you. <laughs> I'm still going to love it because I'm going to forget about Oh, they did have the one trailer. thing, which I actually am looking forward to. And I hope he's in a lot of scenes, not just they kind of, you know, show up every now and then when they need to fight. Dante, Jason Momoa apparently is like insane in this movie. He's such he an exaggeration like a of a character. Here. Yeah. Like the way he plays, he's not like, yeah, I'm slick. He's like, he kind of cuckoo in the head. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I like the idea actually. Yeah. yeah like lose it a little. You know what I'm saying? Because Dom doesn't really act at this point. He's like, Time for barbecue. 